Surely not. No way. Glocks inside of the bomb site in a two versus five with almost nothing, well, nothing at all to work with. This should never be happening. You should lose this round every single time. Now, they are grouped up. I do like that part of it. And a little bit of a slow start here with the Glocks. They're not connecting. They need the headshots, and they need to be a lot quicker with it. Otherwise, they're going to get just chipped away at. They're already very low on health here. And remember, there is that kit in play, so it's going to be quick, and it will be automatic with the triple at the end of it. And EG to win the pistol. With the plant down, though, not a complete disaster. They, they can buy up in the second round of Galils if they so wish, but still, a very impressive result there from Evil Geniuses. Automatic with the precision to open things up. Two lovely headshots. Funnels them in towards B where Hex can push them back. Here's the replay. Perfectly done. Nico and Hunter removed. Flashbang on the dual elites as well. And yeah, they got the plant down. It is significant, but there's still a lot of work to be done here. They will be buying up in the second round. The peak from Hex, I think, re reveals a nice bit of discipline from, from someone who's otherwise, you know, shouting a lot and being very aggressive Ooh, at times. The AWP is out second round, just tonight. Oh, that's true. That's very, very quick. Against a scout, who knows? But, you know, he gets flashed in Hex for that first kill, and he doesn't repeat. He doesn't stick around for more, you know, he has the duelies. He could have stuck around for more kills, but he's just happy with that one, make it a two versus five with that kill so i'm i'm glad to see that kind of discipline on eg you need that if you want to beat a team like g2 monacy is going to get the opening and just the mp9 inside of the bomb site disastrous position to be in for george he just can't do anything there wow He's getting wrapped on we're seeing how significant that bomb plan was now anders it's the ak striking first as soon as they get a kill they unload everything they've got on the a bomb site round over so it did Take the question as to why the A-bombs that was so open in the previous round. He had a four versus two. I think a five versus two. Yeah, it was at and, the end. And uh, he had no one there to even try and deny the open plan. And it's led into this. They, they even had the AWP in the second round. He gets nothing done. No choice but to save it. But at least they will do that. Two rifles and the AWP. Pretty clean over and done with without even much of a chance for EG to find back. So that's a bit disappointing, I suppose. But for G2, obviously, winning the second round, they're going to be celebrating that. Three rifle saves on EG. I don't really think the AWP is revealed, so I guess in theory it could still be a little bit of a shock. That's a good point. I don't think it fired off a shot there. So here's how the opening frag came in. That was uh, a Walco smoke. I was hoping to dish out that sort of treatment, but the gap eluded him. Let me go round three, but bear in mind, a significant save. They will certainly buy into this one three rifles available one of which is a junior awp and he's been playing great today so here he comes in towards the connector oh he wants to go with it i really respect this i actually love this way of playing yeah he knows the orb has to have an impact so he goes looking for it and he's going to take down hunter i think that's really cool well played yeah got away with it scott free bails on the mid position Find the opening kill. He's actually back in towards B as well now. A drop off from utility. Oh, he's just on top. Which? Yeah, he wants to come through that one. Eagle. And a 5-7 as the pistol's in play. 5-7 a bit up closer. Gonna find the kill on JKS. They're letting go this round. George with a headshot on Modesty. And got to use the term disaster for EG, but it feels like it's come back against G2 now instead. Nico and Hooksy left two versus four with 50 seconds left. I don't even know how you bring this round back. Well, it all started with a junior pick. A real master stroke with that AWP. A slight chance they can make this one work, but the boost confirms the positioning of Hooksy. He'll be dropped. And just poor old Nico. P250 in hand. Yeah, scout in his back pocket, I think. We threw that away to go and pick this one up. Well, that's fair, I suppose. 20 seconds. He's got the bomb, but th there's no way, right? The element of surprise with this little time left, even that's not going to make a difference. So you'll be happy to save the grenades and the Galil. Well, that's good to reinforce your points if they had no information that the AWP was available for Junior because yeah. he didn't fire off a shot in that second round. So, yeah, they didn't have the protocols in place to deal with his push towards top of middle. Opening frag found. One big start connecting. They barely take any damage on route. As they'll take the lead once again. 2-1. Nico will save a Galil. 
A sigh of frustration there for sure. That's how it all started, Hunter. Had no idea this could be a possibility. This was great though. Walker with the 5-7. Set up his teammate, George. Rock solid on the A-bomb side. Lovely little boost as well as well to confirm the round. <laughs> They're not happy about it. They but, are uh, not happy. We are going to get round four underway. And there is a buy available for G2. So, Galil for Nico. Compromise utility to say the very least. They do just look... I mean, even on the other maps, it just feels like there's not that much energy on this G2 team. As soon as anything goes away... I mean, we were joking about it even at the end of Inferno, which they were just outright winning. You still have this weird sense when you're watching them that they get frustrated very, very quickly. That they're not, they're not really enjoying the game. There's not a lot of celebration even when they're winning. It's just... It's hard to watch at the moment. Fourth round here. And we'll see. EG definitely with the... Better buy overall, looking at the grenades especially. But there is a chance for G2. There is always a chance, Anders. And they're five on five for now. They've got one flash remaining, though. That is it. That's the entirety <laughs> of their utility. And they're going back towards A to a contact play. To say the very least, they've got a 4 1 setup. Monacy waiting to breach the connector. Walker up front. Three CTs lying in way here. It's going to be a brawl of a round. Yes, it will be. Up close to Nade landing way behind him. Two kills. Plenty enough, I think, for Walco to make sure they can uh, just cement this defense. Oh, wait Hello. a minute. 24 seconds. They die very rapidly in the middle. Automatic and Hex, none of them could really find any kind of safe harbor. So maybe I spoke too soon. Nico gets grenaded down, but he's got a little bit of an avenue on top of the smoke. Got to be careful he doesn't get spammed down on the other side. Junior with the AWP. He's ready and waiting. He's got the right idea. No. But Nico, he's so quick. They lose Monacy and George. Oh, no kit. 10 seconds against Nico. I don't think it's going to happen here. He could have died then, and that might be the only chance that George is going to be having. He picks up the AWP to find another one, and he didn't make it a quad kill Nico doing it once again Anders four more kills it looked like the round was done it was what a four on two situation yeah right up until this moment Nico striking with a double kill that was a beautiful shot towards jungle as well picks up the AWP